Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. We're gonna to be doing another eyeshadow bingo, but instead of focusing on a particular brand, I'm actually just going to be pulling from all of my single eyeshadows. I have a lot of really nice colorful shades in here, some that I really haven't played with a lot, so I'm excited to pull a couple shades from this palette. This is my Cleona Cosmetics Empty Magnetic Palette. I got this a while ago, and I love it because I can put all of my single shadows in one place. So I do have several different brands of single shadows in here. I'll go over those really quickly. Most of them are from ColourPop or from ABH. I do have a handful from Makeup Geek, from Give Me Glow Cosmetics, from Cleona Cosmetics, and a couple from Tarte as well. I really do want to start digging into these, so let's generate some numbers. Okay, so I have my pretty random app up. I have from 1 to 37, which is how many singles I own. And we're gonna go one at a time so I can slowly build it, and if I feel like I have a really great trio, then I'll stop there. If I feel like I want to test my look and add one more, then I will, so we'll just do one at a time. And the first number is number four. Ooh, okay. That's one of my Give Me Glow singles. It's a metallic, and it's in the shade Blue Jeans. Ooh, I'm excited about this one. Not only is it, like, incredibly metallic and pigmented, um, but it's just such a unique blue in my collection and one that I haven't, I don't think I've put on my eyes yet. I'm excited. Okay, now for pick number two. I got number five, which is Clairvoyance, which is the one right after it. That is a Cleona single and that is also a metallic and it's more of an aqua blue. That's a really interesting combo, very summery. <laughs> okay, one more. Number 18, that is the shade Luna, and that's a single from Nabla. I actually have pan on this one, and this is kind of like a pinky champagne shade. That's nice to have, even just for like the inner corner. Let's do another one. Number 13, and that is Grind. That is a tart single, and it is also a metallic shade for metallics. And this one is just a little bit deeper and more uh, gray than Nabla Luna. One more. <laughs> We've got 25, and that is Petal Pusher. That's another shade I have pan on, and that's from Makeup Geek, and it's a matte, thank goodness. And this one is really pretty. It's like a mauve shade. So I think that's actually a decently cohesive color story for randomly generating five. So that's exciting, and I'm really pumped to play with these blues. So I put them in a smaller Z palette so I can more easily access them. And I'm going to push my mirror closer, bring you in a little bit, and then we'll get started. I'm going to tie my hair back, and I do have the Makeup Revolution Illustrate Canvas Cut Crease on my eyes as a primer. And then I did use the lightest shade from the ColourPop Go and Coconuts palette. I used that to set my eyeshadow primer. I might have a little bit of my bronzer left over on my lids just from using a big fluffy brush on my lids, but I don't think you can really see that. And I'm gonna start by going in with this brush here. This is an e.l.f. brush. It doesn't have a name on it, but it's got a clear handle. And naturally I'm gonna go in with the one matte that I have, and that's Petal Pressure. This is one of my favorite mattes. I only just hit pan on it last month, and it's so pretty. So right now I need to decide if I want to put the blue on the top, like on my actual lid, or if I want to use it on the lower lash line. I feel like putting blue on the lower lash line is like the safer option or the more common option. I feel like I see people do pops of blue on the lower lash line very often. I've only done it once before and actually I do think it was with that clairvoyant shade from Cleona. But I just did a Tarte eyeshadow bingo with blues and I put it on the top lid. So do I want to do that again? This color combo is really cool though. It's really pretty. Maybe I can mix some, some shades together. That would be kind of cool. Let's see what they look like mixed together. I'm not really sure if you can see when you mix the two of them together, you kind of just get like a deeper aqua blue. Hmm. And then when you add, um, that grind shade from Tarte over it, it kind of adds like a little bit of a silvery, almost greeny shade. I don't know. Maybe I'll mix all three of those together. I'm gonna grab this Real Techniques Instapop crease brush 
and I'm going to go in with blue jeans and I'm just going to put that all over the lid even when you just put it on dry it's still like very pigmented and pretty very little fallout as well then I'm just going to go in with the same brush and grab some of that Cleona clairvoyance I'm going to start by putting it on the first half that brightens it a little bit I go in a little bit with blue jeans just to make sure that they're like really mixed together. And I'm going to go in with this ABH dual sided brush from one of her palettes. I'm going to dip a little bit into the blue jeans shade and then I'm going to go into that Tarte grind shade just so they mix a little bit together on the brush. And then I'm going to put that on the outer half. It's such a cool color. I kind of just want to put it all over the lid. I think I'm going to do that. I like the mixture of all three of them together. It kind of makes it a little bit more subdued and then add some more dimension by adding like that green and the gray and the blue I really like how it looks I'm gonna go back in with petal pusher that matte shade so the only shade I haven't used yet is Luna I think I'm going to I mean I'm gonna put it on the inner corner but I think I'm gonna put a little bit of petal pusher on the lower lash line not a very deep shade so I don't think you're really gonna see it that well yeah you can't see it too too well so I think I'm going to put Grind from Tarte on top of it, just to deepen it up a little bit. I might put just a smidge of that Tarte Grind on the outer corner just to make it a little bit deeper. I think I'm going to put on some eyeliner and then come back and do some finishing touches. Okay, so I put a little bit of gel liner on the top lash line. I love the purple and the blue together. I think those two tones look so pretty together. <laughs> and I think I'm going to finish the look off by using that interference shade by Nabla, just using this dual ended Urban Decay brush. I got it from the Electric palette. Putting that in the inner corner, but also using it like in the inner waterline a little bit just to add some brightness. Now I'm gonna put on mascara and do the rest of my face and then come back with the finished look. Alrighty, I hope I'm in focus. Can't really see. Um, but this is my finished look. For highlighter, I wore the Mary Luminizer by The Balm, and then for my blush, I wore Living Doll from Hard Candy. And then on my lips, I started with the NYX Nude Suede Shoes Lip Pencil, and then I wore Stila Bocce. I was going to wear Stila Perla, but I figured I'd give Bocce some love. I think it's just a hair deeper, so I think it looks a little bit better with the purple in my crease, but I really like it. It is quite similar to the Tarte eyeshadow bingo that I did because I did pull a random aqua blue in that one as well. But I love the idea of mixing those three shades because they all have undertones or things about the shade that I like, but putting them all together really added like an interesting finish. And I think like when I move my head in real life at least, it kind of catches different lights and looks slightly different. And I just think it looks very Dimensional, I guess, would be the term I'm looking for, and I really like it. I'm glad these bingos are making me wear more blue eyeshadow because it's one of the shades that I just don't really wear very often, but I'm always pleasantly surprised when I do wear it. I do have a little bit of maybe a bluish tone under my eyes because I didn't properly prepare for the blue fallout. I was just using a lot of different shades on top of each other, so I don't think it has anything to say about the actual formula of the shades. I think that was just more user laziness. I do have so many single shades, so I could easily do more versions of just single shadow eyeshadow bingos. Let me know if you prefer ones that are just entire brands, if you like them for just one palette, or I'm thinking of maybe trying to do one with all of my eyeshadows. I do have like 200 something shadows, so I don't really know like how fun it is when you have that many shadows in the mix. I'm not really sure. Let me know what your thoughts are. There are quite a few people who do eyeshadow bingo type videos like this. A lot of them have playlists, so I'll try to link some of them in the description box. So if you want to see more content like this, then you can check them out. And I also have a playlist too that I put together. I think this is like my fifth maybe sixth video that I've done in this series. I try to do one once a month, so please stay tuned for future updates. In the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.